as we celebrate today the, memor the, the solemnity of St. Mary Maculate, I think the Word of God reminds us that one of the greatest attributes of this saint, of this holy woman, was her continual trust in God's providence. You know, as the eldest of eight children, Mary firstly relied on God's providence to provide for her family because her father was unable to do so. And then when she formed the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Sacred Heart, she was instrumental in ensuring that the sisters lived devout poverty while at the same time relying on divine providence to provide for their needs. And yet, in doing all of this, she was never left without the necessities. And so in this way, I think Mary lived out the words of Jesus in today's gospel to set her heart on the kingdom of God first and on his saving justice, on his righteousness. And indeed, all that she required was given to her. You know, God's loving care and concern was made visible in this figure of Mary Macula, just like the prophet Elijah, who was looked after by the Sidonian woman, and the Sidonian woman herself, in today's first reading, was looked after by God and became an instrument of God's grace for Elijah. Through the darkest of times, Mary experienced the comforting presence of God as well. You know, even when Mary was unfairly treated by church authority, she still felt God's presence beside her. She wrote in one of her letters that when she came to be excommunicated, she still felt the loving embrace of God next to her. And hence, she was still able to love her bishop, her priests, and the church, even when she perhaps had, 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 had an excuse not to do so. And she, so she certainly replicated the words of St. Paul in today's first reading, you know, being clothed in heartfelt compassion, in generosity and humility, gentleness and patience, in the way that she related to others, whether that be her family, her students, her religious sisters or church authority. But all of this was only possible because she always trusted in and experienced God's providence in her life. So we pray today that through the intercession of St. Mary MacKillop, that we may have the courage, firstly, to trust in God's providence in our lives, to realize that God's kingdom will provide for our needs ultimately, and that instead of being distracted by the mundane things of life, we may be strong instruments of God's love and concern for others as she had been.